everyone, Kimberly here. How are you doing today? Today I want to play with a new palette to me and it's by Wet n Wild and it's the Nightmare Before Christmas palette. It's a limited edition. I happened to find it at Walmart on sale and these are the shades. It looks like that one is probably a pressed glitter, but I haven't swatched anything so we'll have to see. Um, I've already got most of my face done. I just haven't done the eyes or the lips. And I just want to play with this and see how it is. See what kind of a look I can come up with. There's no names for any of these shades, so I'll just have to point them out to you as we go. I think the first shade I'm going to start out with is this deep, cool tone brown here. I'm just going to tap it a little bit. And I just want to start putting that in my crease. I always go just slightly above my crease because I have hooded eyes and it's going on quite nicely. I love cool tone shades. I've been really drawn to orange lately though so I'm hoping to be able to film an orange look soon. I am so excited for Halloween. It is my absolute favorite time of year. How about you guys? What is your favorite holiday? That went on really nice. Now I want to take something a little bit, there's not much lighter in here, but I'm going to take this shade here on a fluffier brush and see if I can blend that out at the top a little bit. Just to see how these blend together. So what have you all been up to lately? Where I live, they're calling for a severe snowstorm, our first snow of the year today. So this past weekend, my wife and I, Joanna is my wife's name, we spent the weekend pretty much the whole weekend, putting winter tires on my van. I'm just going to blend that out just a little bit more. The reason it took us two days to do it is because some of the, what are they called, lug nuts that are on the tire, we couldn't get them off. One got stuck in the, uh, what is it called? Oh, I'm drawing a blank, but one got stuck in the tool where you, that we used to take it off. So we had to go to the store and buy another one, but we were looking for one that was slightly larger. And do you think we could find one? No, we went to three different stores. We bought one new one, came home, still couldn't get all the lug nuts off of the tire. So we did some shopping online. Well, Joanna did actually, and she found the right size. We finally found one yesterday and we got the tires done. So that's good. I'm glad I have winter tires on for driving. So when the snowstorm comes, I won't be so freaked out. Anyway, I really like these two shades, how they blended together. Now I want to put something deeper in the outer corner. So I think I'm going to just go with the black. Mm, maybe not. Maybe I should try this one. That almost looks like a deep blue purple shade. And I just want to tap it in the outer corner. It looks blue. Yeah, I think that's more of a blue. I'm going to try and keep that mainly. I'm using a very small brush. Mainly in the outer corner here. So that was a lot of work, getting the winter tires, switching the van over to the winter tires. But I tell you, it's very satisfying and feels like we made a big accomplishment. So that's always good. And I'm just going to blend a little bit. I'm going to take that first brush with that brown shade and just blend along there a little. Okay, I am really happy with that. 
All right, so let me get my setting spray ready. I'm low on this one. So it looks like I'll be purchasing a new one soon. And let's go in with some shimmers. So I think the first shimmer I'm going to start with, maybe that this one might also be a press glitter. I'm not sure. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put some fixed gel down on my eyelids first. Or eyelid. I'm going to do the other eye off camera when I'm done. So with that same brush, first shimmer I'm going to go into is this one. It's like a shimmery. It's almost more of a satin shade, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like on the eye. It's picking up on the brush nicely, and I'm going to spray that. Oh, if I can aim properly. And I'm going to start that in the outer part of my eye. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Now I want to go back in with that deep blue purple shade and just tap some more in here and blend it into that shade. Okay, I'm just going to wipe off that brush that I used for the shimmer and let's see what other shimmer I should do. Let me just swatch a couple. Those both look purple to me. Very pale purple. One is actually looks like purple in here and the other one looks white but the white actually shifts to a pinky purple and it looks more shimmery and then there's also this pale blue one here that's really pretty and I was right that silver does not pick up on my finger it is oh yeah there we go, I got it. I might use a little bit of that, but that is a pressed glitter. But I think what I'm gonna do first is I wanna go in, I think I'll go in with that really light one, this one here, with the same brush. That one feels a little more putty. Maybe I'll use my finger for that one. That one's more of a putty shade. It seems to pick up on the finger better than the brush. So I'm just going to tap that in the front here and blend it with that blue shimmer. And I don't think I'm going to bother with the uh, pressed glitter right now, unless, you, well, I don't know. Maybe you guys would like to see it in action. Let me let me try it. I don't know if I can pick it up on a brush though, so I might put it on my finger and then spray my finger. Let me try it on a brush first. That actually does pick up on the brush. And it's kind of got, it looks like a hollow, like it's got a lot of different colors of glitter in it. So let me spray it twice. I don't want this falling all over my face. And I'm going to tap it in the center here just to brighten up that spot. That's actually really nice. Really pretty. I want to bring that up a little bit more and put, tap it in here as well. Let me hop off and do the other eye and do some other things and I will be back. I am back. So I have done everything except for under the eyes because I wanted to go back into the palette for that. Let me just get a little brush here. Oh, I guess I'll use this little liner one. And I think what I want to try is this one here. It almost looks like a shimmery purpley gray. Try that underneath and see how that looks. I'm going to spray it. I want it to be able to stick under the eyes. And I'm going to start in the center and go out. Just tapping it first. And I'm going to go all the way across with that. I'm just going to blend it in the outer corner. And I want it kind of blown out just a little bit. So I'm just going to blend down. And now with that same brush, I want to go into this black, this one here. Actually, I think I'll get a little bit smaller brush. 
and I want to put that really close to the lash line and I'm just putting that one just in the outer half of my under eye I just want to put something in the inner corner and under my brow bone and I think I want to go into this blue one here it's a shimmery blue so I'm just going to put that here and a little bit underneath and up so now I want to put something under my brow but I think I'm just going to go in with the highlighter that I put on my cheeks and that is the lightest shade in this Makeup Revolution Vintage Lace. Oh, wow, that's bright. That one. And here is my completed look. So let me know what you think of this look. I actually quite enjoy this little palette. Wet n Wild Disney's Nightmare Before Christmas. And here again are the shades. So I tried several today. I tried one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least eight shades today. And yeah, I love this look. This is so up my alley. And I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please like my video, give it a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see what I'm what other videos I'm going to be doing and leave a comment please that would be great it all helps my channel and I appreciate you all for coming and hanging out with me today so I hope you all have a great day thanks see you in the next one bye and the of the tool that she needed why can't I I'm drawing a blank of what the thing is called